Hello, I'm Julian Malera. I self-built my house with shipping containers. My goal now is to be self-sufficient in electricity by installing as many solar panels as possible. The BIM battery, which I am exclusively testing, is the centerpiece of this installation and will provide me with continuous electricity. In this video, I'm going to explain why I chose to use this battery rather than another. I'm going to show you how I installed it. Most importantly, we'll see the cost and how much it'll save me on electricity bills. BIM has revolutionized the solar panel industry in France in recent years. They were the first to really come out with plug and play panels that could be installed without the help of professionals and all you had to do was plug it into a socket in your house to power it. In early 2024, the BIMON was released, which we tested on the channel. It was an improved plug and play panel with more power and above all an ultra easy and ultra fast installation in just a few minutes. And now, to gain even more autonomy, they have released the masterpiece of their ecosystem, the BIMBATTERY. The BIMBATTERY is a block that is composed of 2 to 4 modules with a storage of 6, 6, 10, or 13.4 kW. The battery has an inverter that supports up to 9000 watts of solar panels. So you can directly connect up to 18 500 watt panels of any compatible brand to the battery. This is known as a direct current installation. You can also connect plug and play panels with micro inverters to any outlet in your home and the battery will automatically capture it. The surplus production, this is what is called an alternating current installation. So we have two types of installations, direct current for more power or alternating current for simplicity. The 6.6 .6 kilowatt battery model can deliver up to 5,000 watts to your home and up to 7,000 watts for the 10 and 13.4 kilowatt hour models. It also provides backup power for your devices during outages. That's a very interesting option. We can compare this to the batteries we've tested on the channel. For example, the solar bank from Anchor could only send 800 watts and the solar flow from Endure could only send up to 1800 watts. And these batteries no longer work if there is a power outage. As you can understand, we are dealing with a much more powerful system for a different use, which could allow me to be almost self-sufficient. Compared to all the other products I have tested on this channel, that's why throughout 2025, I will exclusively test the BIM battery with a BIM ecosystem to see if I can achieve self-sufficiency. And I will make several videos to get feedback and find out if this product really keeps its promises. The battery is guaranteed for 15 years more precisely. It is guaranteed to still have 60% of its storage capacities after 6,000 charge cycles. You can choose to install the battery inside, in a room that is not a living room, a garage or a laundry room for example, or outside. It withstands temperatures from negative 20 degrees 100 to plus 55 degrees 100 very well and saves space. But I decided to install it outside and we're going to see all that. For the battery installation, BM suggests you go through a professional partner of BIM for 590 euros. And honestly, if you're not very handy, I strongly advise you to take this option. If you want to try the installation yourself, I'll demonstrate how we installed it at my home, step by. Let's start with the installation of the solar panels. I put them on my roof and I went with Beamons to stay in the BIM ecosystem. And most importantly, these panels are amazing. They install in just a few minutes, which I promise is satisfying. They have a support system that works a bit like a deck chair. You just have to lift, clip, install. In a few minutes, everything is ready. And that's really a major advantage. Whether you place them on the roof or ground, ensure they are weighed down with cinder blocks or similar objects. For the solar panels, we saw just before that we have two connection options in alternating current or direct current, so to the house outlets or directly to the battery. For this video, I installed an alternating current system with six panels connected directly to my house's outlets using a 10A circuit breaker in my electrical panel. 
This is the kit recommended by BIM 6 panels plus 6, 6 kiabuaros of storage, but later I will certainly put more panels, more battery. Might also switch to direct current, but that's already there. This is the basic kit with which one can start to enter the BIM ecosystem. Before plugging panels into sockets, verify they are electrical wires, incomplete input, comma, 5 square meme. Normally, in recent reasons after 2005, that should be the case. Then, in your electrical panel, you will need to put a 10, 16 or 20 amp breaker, depending on the number of panels connected to the circuit. To put it simply, a cable in 2.5 square millimeters can support up to 5,700 watts of electricity. Connecting two 500 watt panels will send up to 1,000 watts of electricity into the cables. So theoretically, there are still 4,700 watts available. This means that we need to install a maximum of a 20A circuit breaker, which can send up to 4,600 watts into the house. For four 500 watt panels, we're going to send up to 2,000 watts into the cables. So we will install a maximum of a 16 ampere circuit breaker, which can send up to 3,680 watts. For six panels, we send up to 3,000 watts. So we will install a 10 ampere circuit breaker, which can send up to 2,300 watts. So it's really counterintuitive, but the more plug and play panels we have, the smaller the socket breaker will be. It works with all plug and play panels, not just BIEM. However, BIEM places a strong emphasis on safety and gives us this information that I had never heard elsewhere and that even professional electricians struggle to have. Thank you, Bim, for the detailed explanation of how it works. If you want more than just plug and play panels, well, you will either have to put them on another circuit with another circuit breaker, or really stop the coupling in alternating current switch to direct current connect that directly to the battery. And there, that's probably what I would do. And I'll show you that in a future video when, when I have a lot more steps on my roof. Now that we have an electrical circuit up to standard, we're going to see where to install the battery. We can install it in a room inside the house, outside the living areas or outside. I chose to install it outside, as I mentioned. Biome really emphasizes safety. And since my terrace and cladding are made of wood, they advise me to install protective plates for hairs. Behind the battery, Pierre Emmanuel, the technical director and co-founder of BIM, will provide a full explanation. What is it? The risks with my battery? Can it catch fire? No, no, no. The risks are absolutely minimal, but it remains an energy accumulator. The lithium iron phosphate chemistry is extremely safe and the most stable battery chemistry. But in the case of a problem which is extremely rare, there can be a thermal runaway. In this case, we should safeguard the surroundings to avoid potential damage. And it might catch fire. Or what is thermal runaway? No, a thermal runaway is when it heats up very strongly, there will be an internal chemical reaction that will heat up very, very, very strongly. The reaction is exothermic, meaning it will heat up intensely. Due to the high temperature, we want to prevent the heat from spreading. And so to protect the surrounding elements that could be flammable, we protect them with small thermal protections. We want the best for all, and even if the occurrence is exceptionally uncommon, we strongly prioritize safety. This has been BIM's trademark since the beginning. The battery is Ingress Protection 65, but to increase its lifespan, it's still recommended to keep it out of direct sunlight or rain. A small roof overhang is fine. For me, adding a windbreak will help extend its lifespan. To install the battery, you absolutely need two people, because it's quite heavy. The battery weighs between 114 and 398 pounds in total, so you'll need to secure it to the wall to prevent tipping. I'm going to show you the alternating current battery installation, but keep in mind that it's exactly the same as the direct current installation. Except in direct current, I would need to add a safety box in which my solar panels would go, and then from the box, my panels would go directly into the battery here, so they are connected to outlets in my house. But everything else is exactly the same. I'll make it quick for you. I have my battery on my terrace. I go out on the side with two 3G cables, six and a communication cable in a sheath. To go towards my safety box inside my house, the safety box can be installed either inside or outside. And in this box, we have circuit breakers that secure our two 3G six circuits and a smart meter that will accommodate the communication cable. From this smart meter, we will come out with a metric ampere clamp that will allow us to measure the house's consumption and therefore know when the panels produce a surplus and therefore when should the battery capture this surplus. We then come out of the safety box with two 3G6 cables and the cable of the metric ampere clamp, which is connected to the smart meter. The ampere clamp is placed in the electrical panel around one of the main supply cables. 
In the panel, we connect the first three G6 cable to a 32A circuit breaker and we connect the circuit breaker to the phase distributor. This will let the battery power the whole house. The second three G6 cable. It serves the backup function which will allow me to power my entire electrical panel. If I have a contract of 6 kVA or less, or just one line, if I have more power, I have a subscription of 9 kVA. So I can only back up one line of my panel. So I gathered all the most important circuit breakers and I connected my 3 G6 cable to the differential circuit breaker to then power my entire line. The physical installation is now complete. All that remains is pairing the devices on the BIM app to control production and consumption. All of that. I'm not going to show you how to do the device, that it's really very simple. The BIM manual explains everything very well, but I'm going to show you all the information we can retrieve from the application. I can see that currently I am 100% autonomous thanks to all the panels and my battery. There. 86 watts of my production supplies 100% of my household needs. Below I can see the distribution of my solar production. A portion of it is injected into my house for my own consumption. There is a part that is sent into storage so that I have electricity tonight. And there is a part that is re-injected into the network. I think it's just the time that it adjusts and that it goes into the battery. But in any case, I can really see on this first page how much I am autonomous and how much energy I store for the evening. On the second tab, I can see how much electricity I've produced since the beginning of the month. Here, we can see that I'm about 15% towards my monthly goal. This goal is based on the number of panels I've installed and my exact address. BIM estimates that I should produce a certain amount of kilowatt hours. And right now, I'm at 15% of my goal. We were in weeks where the weather was very, very bad. So my goal is not yet well fulfilled. And I can see below my instantaneous power. There are my panels. Over the last three minutes, they have produced an average of 540 watts. This is an indicative measure. In reality, it might vary slightly, but from my installed 2,700 watts, I'm seeing a 500 watt production. The weather is really, really bad at the moment, but that's enough for me to be self-sufficient for now, so it's very cool. And on the application, you have lots of graphs, you have annual monthly comparisons, you have reports on your consumption, on your production. You really have what it takes to better understand your consumption and better adapt it to your solar production. It's a gold mine of information, you can spend hours on it. The app is well crafted and will keep being enhanced gradually. Let's now move on to the most important part of a solar installation. How much does that save us on our electricity bill? Because, yeah, if we install a whole system like that, well, it's not what we're thrilled about. We have big geeks and environmentalists, so we like to produce greener energy and have more security during power outages. All that is very nice, but concretely, how much do we save? BIM estimates that with a kit of six panels and a battery of 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours, you will be able to self-consume 89% of your production and you will send back 11% for free to the network. At my place, this provides a self-consumed production of 57,000 kilowatt over the next 20 years, the lifespan of the products. The six panel kit with the 6.6 .6 kilowatt hour battery is 7,990 euros. For 7,990 divided by 57,000 kilowatt. So that gives us a kilowatt hour at 14 cents for the next 20 years instead of 25, 30, 40 cents if you bought it from Electricité de France. And even more, since energy prices are going to rise by about 4% per year. It's a simpler way to see the savings that this system could bring. Are you telling yourself that you're going to have electricity that will cost you 14 cents per kilowatt for the next 20 years? And that's pretty good nonetheless. We can see it differently if we take all the numbers into account. After nine years, you will have produced about 8,000 euros worth of electricity, which is the cost of your installation. So, after nine years, your installation is paid off, which means that for the first nine years, it's as if you hadn't changed anything. However, for the following 11 years, you have made your installation profitable, giving you free energy. 
or at least you're going to save 30,000 euros on electricity over the next 11 years, which is about 100 euros per month on your bills. That's pretty cool. It's not the most profitable solar system on the market, but that's not its goal anyway. BIM, like Huawei and other big market players, their ambition is mainly to offer the safest product possible. They emphasize safety a lot. A product that has a lot of power, which can allow us to be almost self-sufficient in electricity. A product with extended features like a backup function providing electricity during power outages. That's a feature I haven't found on any other battery I've been able to test. Other batteries, well, more entry level. This is a truly high-end system for people who want a large installation for their home that is safe, reliable, that lasts over time, that is designed in France. So we still have a very interesting product in terms of value for money. BIM also offers a very advanced, very developed and above all evolving ecosystem. Many of you already have BIM kits at home or BIM on. And there, all you need to do is buy a few more panels and the battery to complete this ecosystem and gain autonomy while staying in the same product range. On the BIM site, you can buy different kits with batteries plus BIM on panels. But you can also buy the battery alone, depending on the power you want. The price obviously changes and you can very well buy panels from other brands. Cheaper on the side if you want. I stayed in the BIM ecosystem, it was simpler. I understand that for some of you it will help you save money. In conclusion, it was high time that BIM released a battery. Well, yeah, because without a battery, there's no point in installing more than two plug and play panels. Because beyond two panels, most of what you're going to produce will not be consumed by the house and will be re-injected into the network for free. Today, it's still complicated to sell your surplus electricity. And so buying more than two panels would not be very economically profitable. Certainly, other manufacturers produce intriguing batteries that we've tested on this YouTube channel. But these are more entry-level batteries that have fewer features, maybe a little less safety, which are less powerful, which would not really allow me to achieve electrical autonomy. In any case, with the BIM battery, we have a battery that is designed, sold in France by a French company. So it's the equivalent. This is what I've been looking for from the start. It's the product that will allow me to achieve energy independence. I've been talking with the BIM teams for several months and I'm really impressed by their deep knowledge of the subject. They are really passionate about solar, pioneers of solar. That's what I was saying earlier. For example, Pierre Emmanuel, who is the technical director and co-founder of BIM, has been working with French Environment and Energy Management Agency for years to co-write the rules around solar in France so that we have a more secure industry, so that we don't just install it any old way in our homes and so we can really produce a lot more energy in a decarbonized, local, more affordable way, in fact, so that we install more solar in France and that it's done in a somewhat professional framework. It's not for nothing that you can buy BIM products in many stores like Leroy Merlin, Monsieur Bricolage, Boulanger and many other brands. But even if it seems simple, a plug and play panel, be careful. The installation with the battery, it's a level above. First of all, it's a big investment. And then, in addition, there's a bit more danger. Let's say electrical. So don't go into this without any knowledge. Don't hesitate to get help. BIM is there for that. You can request an appointment on the BIM website with professionals who will advise you on the best solution for you and who will connect you with other professionals who can install it for you. All of this done professionally to ensure that you have no problems and that you get the most out of your installation. I hope this video has helped you to better understand the BIM battery and the entire BIM ecosystem in general. For now, I haven't seen much, but don't hesitate to comment. What did you like? What did you dislike? Let's exchange together, especially subscribe to follow the next videos because now I'm going to test this system. Over the next 12 months, I will make several videos on the subject to see if it keeps its promises and if it allows me, but really to be almost self-sufficient in electricity. So subscribe so you don't miss all this like it. If you enjoyed it, share the video. Anyway, you know, we're on YouTube. It was Julian. See you soon.